All right, let's add some color to this and a few more, you know, very simple things to make it look better. Um, access the color swatches in Illustrator. Go window, swatch libraries, and there's many, many to choose from, which you can explore on your own if you haven't done so already. Um, for this demo, I'm going to choose art history, impressionism. Not that I'm a huge fan of impressionism, but it'll work. So you have all these nice colors, and if you don't know the uh, Illustrator uh, pre-packaged colored palettes, like basically all these horizontal bars uh, have colors that they go together. Basically, that's not really that's very simplistic. Um, you still have to like make conscious choices, and you can add to these these you can add swatches, you can adjust swatches, everything else. We're we're not going to do that in this demo. All right, so I'm going to choose a color for this cup. Choose the cup so I can see the bounding box. And I'll choose this uh, nice peach color. Let me, I mean, got it. There we go. All right. I want this at 50% opacity, which I believe I already have. So let me double check. Yes, I'm at 50% opacity. That's good. All right, that's still pretty dreary, right? Um, let's add some dimension to this. A real easy way is to, would be to put an ellipse on the top of this. So let me just kind of eyeball this. I'm gonna change the color to this complement, this purple. And I want this at 50% opacity as well because I want like this what I want to get is like this ink wash effect and I'm deciding my peach color is looking a little bit anemic so I'm gonna crank this up to like 75 that's looking better so you see just just that little change um, we're starting to get a credible illustration 